people don't realize that demons are literally sitting there almost like in a double dutch game rocking back and forth waiting for you to open the door to them so they can hop right into your life this generation is such an easy target because this generation is so spiritually blind they have no spiritual discernment whatsoever and the enemy knows that they're not going to test the spirit he knows that all he has to do is dangle whatever it is that you desire whatever it is that you want and then make you feel as though you are empowered and have the authority to manifest those things in your soul. The Bible says in the end times, people will be lovers of themselves. So what exactly are we experiencing? People who think that they are gods, no different than when Adam and Eve were tempted in the garden. People that are all talking about what they manifested, they wanna be in control of what happens in their life. They are not interested at all in having a divine being tell them what his will is for their life and for them to be obedient, submitted, and surrendered to that being. That, my friend, is a recipe for disaster. That is an open door mindset to Satan immediately. His motto is, do what thou wilt, means do whatever you want with no ramifications, but it's a lie from hell. You must realize that these beings have no legal right to access this natural realm that we live in, okay, without us giving them permission because they are spirit beings. So they need us and our permission in order to operate in our lives. But the thing is, they have become, well, they're not more clever. It's just that us as a generation have become less discerning. And so because of that, their little tricks and schemes that they bring, and they're always the same. You are falling for those tricks and schemes because you have no idea the character of God. You have no idea who Satan is. People will say all day, I don't wanna know who Satan is. If you don't know and study your opponent, how are you gonna beat them? These familiar spirits that we all have, that follow us around, that know exactly what we like, what we dislike, they know exactly what to dangle in front of you in order to get you to come into agreement with it so that you can open the door and they can hop right in. And it's not even about just you. They wanna come in and, and operate in your life, but not just you, they want access to your bloodline. So your children, your children's children are affected by your decisions. So the enemy will bring you those few little things that you desire, whether it's financial gain, that relationship, that job, just to make you feel like you're in control, just to make you feel like you have that power. But you don't even realize he's doing that just to keep you there, just to keep you coming back, to keep you speaking those incantations, to keep you creating those altars and offering food to these deities. We all need to recognize that Satan does not come to you or bring opportunities to you with red horns and a cape, nor does he come to you in a place where you feel fear Instead, he comes to you making you feel at peace. He comes to you making you feel like you are progressing, that you're blessed. When actuality, he's disguising his light. And once he got you, what felt like it was God was actually the enemy. If you're not praying for spiritual discernment on a daily basis, what are you doing? When judgment comes upon the land, I pray that whoever is watching this, that you humbly go before God and you begin to ask him, exactly what it is that you may be doing unknowingly that goes against the principles in that Bible. You don't even realize that you are committing spiritual adultery. The moment that you come into agreement with believing that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, you are married to him. You are married to God. So when you come into agreement with idolatrous practices, you are committing adultery in the spirit. It's time to repent. It's time to humbly go before him and ask for forgiveness. Don't be one of those people that says, oh, I wish I had, or I didn't know, okay? Do it while you still have the opportunity.